ultimate Wii U virtual console injector, UVCI. This is a program that allows you to inject games into your Wii U menu. Now this video is going to be focused on Wii and GameCube games, but it also has the ability to inject all of these on the screen right now. If you want me to make a video on those in the future, let me know in the comments. But today I'm going to walk you through what you need and how to do it. So let's get started. Now you will need your Wii U to be modded with custom firmware. Now I suggest Aroma, so if you haven't done that already, I do have guides in my Wii U modding playlist. This will also work on Tiramisu if you are on the older CFW. And then you also need Wup Installer GX2. Now I had this in my Wii U modding guide, but if you do not have it, I'll show you where to get it in this video as well. But starting off, let's head over to the link in the description for UWU VCI, and it'll take you to this GitHub page. Now this is version 3.Z created by Zesty, and in the what's changed part, he says he doesn't plan on making any more releases, so hopefully that's still the latest version, even way into the future as you're watching this. But scroll down, and we're going to grab the UWU VCI installer.exe. Now unfortunately, you do need a Windows computer for this. Sorry Mac users. And it is a program that we're going to install onto our computer. But once you have that downloaded, run the installer. Don't worry if you get this error, I have ran it before, it is safe. Just click more info and run anyway. And just go ahead and install it. We'll create a desktop shortcut, install, finish. And there we go, it's loaded in. And if you're looking for an FAQ, if you run into any issues, you can check out the readme text file and it will have a bunch of different questions that were answered. But, don't need that right now. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing Wii and GameCube games in this video, but it does have a lot of different options. But let's get started by clicking on the Wii. So first step, we do need to choose a base ROM. So click right here and go to Rhythm Heaven Fever US. Now, if you are a different region than me, if you're Europe, choose Europe. If you're Japan, choose Japan, etc. But I am North American, so I'm going to choose US. So now we have a to-do list. So we need to grab the title key and the common key. Now, these are something I cannot provide for you. But with a quick Google search, I will go get them myself, and you can too. And when searching, make sure you select the proper region. So once you find it, just hit enter C key, enter it in, and press check, and it's good to go. We got one step done. Next up, find the title key. And once you find it, hit enter T key and paste it in there. Check it and it should be good to go. Now, when you set this up, that is the only time you have to do that. This program will remember those keys if you use Rhythm Heaven Fever in the future. Now, the last step, we need to download the base. So just hit download and it will begin. And there we go. It was pretty quick. That was only like a minute. So now we have all green, we are good to go. So now it's time to choose our ROM path. Now I highly suggest using the region that your Wii U is, but if you, for some reason, do not want to do that, you have an option to region change it right here, NSTC to PAL or PAL to NSTC. But I'm going to leave that blank. Now it's time to select a ROM path. Now before we do this, there will be another link down below which takes you to a Wii Inject compatibility guide. So before selecting a game, it's always good to make sure that it works beforehand. So here is where you find that information. So the columns start with the game name, the region, the host game, which we used Rhythm Heaven Fever, but you can use other games as well, if it works on the gamepad and if the game actually works. So instead of going through the whole page, here's a trick, just hit Control F and you'll be able to type in your game. So if I type in Mario Kart, it will bring you straight to it. And as you can see, there's three Mario Kart Wii's, there's regular and there's plus Wim Fi, one European, one USA. They all work on the gamepad and they all work. If there is a little blurb in the extra information tab, just make sure to read it as it could be good to know. If you're here because there's certain games not on downloading apps, which I'm not gonna mention, like Mario Party 8, which was right below Mario Kart Wii, this game does work for USA Rhythm Heaven Fever, but not on the gamepad. So that is also good to know. And if you're also interested in ROM hacks, like newer Super Mario Bros. U, you can look that up, and it may have also been tested. As you can see, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii works on USA with Super Paper Mario as the base game. But once you've confirmed your game works, we can head back to the program. But let's select a path. I have a whole list of my backed up games. Head into Wii, go inside here, and it should be a WBFS file, or it can also be an ISO file, nkit.gcz or nkit.iso. If you are wanting WiiWare games, WADs also work as well. 
but just select your ROM, open it up, and it should automatically find some images. So this makes it pretty sweet. These are what's gonna be popping up, so just click yes. Unless you wanna put your own custom images in there, you can do that as well. But we'll hit yes, it'll fill those up. If you wanna put custom images in, just hit create file and add it in there. And the game name, this can be literally whatever you want. So it can be smash the like button or subscribe, whatever you want. Mario Kart Wii makes sense for Mario Kart Wii, I guess. So we'll leave that. And once you have that all set, we are ready to inject. So hit eject, inject, sorry. And it will begin. And injection finished. It did take a little bit, a few minutes anyway. And now we get to choose how we're going to export the inject. So hit close and now in number three on the bottom left, we're gonna choose WAP installable. And it will pack the inject so that we can install it with WAP installer GX2. And injection complete, it will explain that you do need CFW, but we're good to go. We have Roma and WAP installer to install. And it's just giving you the warning that some games cannot reboot into the Wii U menu, so shut down via the gamepad. If stuck on a black screen, you need to unplug your Wii U. But we are good to go. Let's plug in the SD we used to mod our Wii U, if you haven't already. Hit copy to SD, and then choose your SD card. Now, if you are not sure which drive your SD card is in, go to File Explorer and this PC, and you should be able to see, these are my storage, this is my OS, this is my external storage, this is my SD card, so USB drive F. As you can see, this is my Wii U SD card, so I am gonna select drive F, but yours may be different. So let's select the drive and copy to SD. And we are done with the setup, so hit close, and if we head over to our SD card, Open your install folder and you should see the installable file, which should look like this. So we're done with Wii games, it's time to head over and do a GameCube inject. And we're back on UUVCI. If you do not have Nintendo already on your SD card along with the NIN CFG file, you automatically get that file if you've ran Nintendo at least once. You will need to do this step. So if we go into the settings, go into start Nintendo config tool, this menu should pop up. And again, we're gonna choose our SD card drive, mine is drive F. You have the option to download the latest version of Nintendo from GitHub, so you can do that. Download complete. And then before getting the config file, we can change some settings. One thing you will need to change is mem card emulation, turn that on. And then there are a few different options that you can choose, but I'm just gonna leave it as default, as long as you have the mem card emulation checked. So hit generate Nintendo config file the nin cfg bin, press OK. And if we head over to our SD card, you should see nin cfg bin on your root and in apps, you should see Nintendo. So we can close this now and let's get started with the GameCube inject. So click the GameCube icon in the bottom left. We're gonna choose a base ROM similar as the Wii. We're gonna do Rhythm Heaven Fever. Again, be conscious of your region. Mine is North American, so I'll do US. We are all green, oops. We are all green, good to go. Now just to show you if you select a different one, so if you do Super Paper Mario, you have your common key good to go, but you need to add the Super Paper Mario US title key. But just for sake of the video, let's do Rhythm Heaven Fever US again. You can force it to 4.3 if you want, and you can disable gamepad as well. But we can go ahead and select a ROM path. I will also have a game compatibility list for Nintendo linked down below. And as you can see, most of the games work, but it's always good to double check. Now the ROM formats for GameCube are ISO and GCM. If you have a CISO, it will not work. But when you have your ROM, just select it and open it up. And same thing, it comes up with images for us. We can hit yes if you want those, or again, you can add your own. You can change the name if you want, but once you have all of that good to go, just hit inject and it will begin injecting the game. Injection finished, close that, and now we have to do the same step, turn it into a WAP installable file. So in number three, bottom left, hit WAP installable and it will pack the inject. And we're good to go, it will give you some information that is good to know. If you do try to play this game without Nintendo or the NIN config file, it will not work, it'll bring you to a black screen and you'll have to come back and get that. Now last time we did SD setup, but instead we can also do open folder and that'll take us to injected games under UUVCIAIO. So as you can see, Mario Kart Wii is here as well, but now 
instead of copying it directly to the SD, we have another option so we can open up our SD. If you're doing this before copying it into the SD, if you don't have an install folder, just create one on the root of your SD card and then grab the virtual console inject, Mario Kart Double Dash in my case, and drag it inside. Go inside and now we have a Wii and a GameCube game ready to install with WAP Installer GX2. But if you do not have WAP Installer GX2, I will have a link down below that will take you to the GitHub page for it. Now this is the Aroma version. If you're on Tiramisu, I have a different video on a guide on how to do that. But Aroma is the latest CFW, so that's the one we're using. It is a WAP format, but you can get it right here. You can download it and place it in your Wii U folder and apps but the download will just be a wub like this and you can drag it inside just like that but there we go we now have a wii and a gamecube game ready to go we got wub installed let's head over to our homebrewed wii u and get them installed i'll meet you over there make sure to eject your sd card and insert it into your wii u all right and we're loaded onto the wii u it's time to head into wub installer gx2 i have mine in my little homebrew launcher folder there it is start it up and you should see your wub injects right here so let's go ahead and install them. You can install them on their own by selecting them and go to install, but I'm just gonna hit plus to select them all. And then it's gonna install them both at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. Press install. Are you sure? Yes. And where? Now your NAND is your internal Wii U storage. So it is highly suggested to get a HDD for extra storage. So if you wanna get one of those, I do have some link down below, but you may also need a Y splitter cable to power it. But if you already have that set up, you're good to go. If you are wanting to install it to your NAND, make sure you have enough space by going into your data management settings and see how much room is left. When you are ready to select, just press A and it will begin installing. Mario Kart Double Dash installed and is going to start the next one right now. And there we go, successfully installed, hit OK and hit the home button and let's head back to the Wii U menu and try them out. There they are. Let's start off with Mario Kart Wii. Blah, blah. And there we go, we are loaded into Mario Kart Wii. This is a fresh Wii U, so I do not have my licenses on this one, but if you want to add my friend code, I play CTGP every weekend with you guys. But once we know Mario Kart Wii works, let's go try Mario Kart Double Dash. And when you hit Wii menu, it does take you all the way back to the Wii U menu, which is very convenient. Next up, Mario Kart Double Dash. It's beautiful. And here we go. This basically leads into Nintendo, so anything that applies for Nintendo applies for these virtual console games as well for GameCube. So I do suggest a classic controller, but Nunchuck works good too. But there we go. Let's exit. And this one also exits you to the Wii U menu as well. But there we have it, we now have Wii games and GameCube games directly on your Wii U menu, which is very cool, especially for GameCube games, as there's no other program that you can get them from. So injecting them yourself is a very cool option. Hopefully you were able to follow it well, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure to hit that like button, it really supports the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>